Welcome back to our channel! If you're new here, you may not know that last year, after living in our school bus for a few months and falling in love with van life, we decided to buy a van in Europe when we came to visit our families for the summer. We had an epic road trip from London, where Louis is from, all the way down to Bulgaria, where I'm from. We got to sleep under the Eiffel Tower, wake up on the Amalfi Coast, and because we were driving, we got to explore parts of Europe that we wouldn't have had the chance to otherwise. When we made it to Bulgaria, Louis' parents actually flew out to drive the van all the way back to the UK. They'd always dreamed of a trip like this, and they loved it so much that when it came time for us to sell the van, they decided to buy it from us. They spent the last year taking the van on weekend trips all around the UK, and I'm so happy that they're getting to make the most of it. Lucky for us, they weren't planning on using it for this month, so they let us borrow it, and today is officially the day that we move back into the van. Okay, we're throwing in the last of our bags. We've moved some stuff into the van already, but it is a complete mess, so we're gonna have to tidy up, get everything ready. Woo, I'm excited. We are back to tiny house living and it doesn't even feel like we have that much stuff but it, when you bring it in here it feels like a lot. An explosion, so. an explosion of belongings. The number one tip for van life tiny house living is having everything organized where everything has a home so that's what we need to do right now. Or, or be a minimalist where you only have a yeah. few things. We or are both. <laughs> we are not minimalist though. No. I love nectarines. All right, I am just filling the fresh water tank for the van. Nice. I've got the fresh water. Absolutely rammed right now. A lot of things going on. Wow, that is full. We have a bunch of stuff we're returning to IKEA. All of my tools, an extra 20 litres or whatever that is of water, coffee machine that needs repairing, a bunch of bags, all my Sony Disco headphones, electronics. There's like a double inflatable canoe, three tables, a box of sports things, and then all of Rise clothes. So much storage. Okay, the van's tidy. I'm gonna sweep and clean the floor now, and then we're pretty much there. It's a little bit quicker than doing the school bus back in Costa Rica. <laughs> so a few days ago, I had to fix a few minor things with the van that had broken this year before we head off on our road trip. This panel has been a bit dodgy. The electrics were already dodgy before last summer. They were kind of being a bit weird. But these lights aren't working. Got, are those all relays? Those are all relays. There's right like now. sirens, overhead lights, and like none of these are even running anymore. This circuit isn't on right now. But when my dad starts the van, he said after five seconds. Look, yeah, that's on now. So I have done some investigating. I found where both lights join to a 12 volt cable. Now I can just cut that, put my own 12 volt cable down to the leisure battery. Soldering done. What? Okay, I'm squeezed in the back here. This is where I need to plug in. I've got this blade connector, which I've connected the positive of the LED lights in the ceiling. And I'm gonna put it on there. So the question is now, this should work now. Oh, hello. And then I also ordered this water pump. It's a much stronger water pump. And I attached it to the back wall and put pipes on it and stuff. So that is all working now. And now we don't have to have an on and off switch to use the water. We can just turn it on here and it starts working straight away. So that's much better as well. Okay, we are finally ready to leave. Our first stop on our trip is Brighton. And when we're there, we'll tell you about the whole rest of the trip because I'm so excited. All right, let's do this.
have arrived in Brighton and in our last video we did a whole vlog here exploring, went out on a boat, kind of showed you a bunch of Brighton so we weren't going to do another whole vlog here but we did want to sit down and give you a run through of what this next month's going to entail because we are about to embark on an epic road trip around the UK. Raya has never been to Scotland. I'm half Scottish. Not just Scotland. I've basically never been north of like Oxford, which is mm. not very north. So there's so much of England, Scotland, like so much of the UK that I've never been to before. Basically, last summer, our road trip all the way down south into Europe, we realized August is not the best month for road tripping in a van without air conditioning in Southern Europe. It was ridiculously hot. So that's why we decided to spend this August going around the UK because, well, hopefully it shouldn't get too, too hot, but we'll see. Mm. <laughs> and the last few years we've been watching Outlander, which is kind of loosely based on Scottish history, but it's more of a kind of like yeah, romance. Yeah, it's like a romance. It's not like a historical. <laughs> but there's some historical there, moments yeah. Yeah, that yeah. got me intrigued to learn more about Scotland and my ancestry and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we thought it'd be really fun to road trip up there and we're going to do a lot of stops on the way. Mm -hmm. So this is our rough route that we're going to be doing and we'd really love some input. If there's anywhere near this route that you would recommend us go and visit, check out some cool places. We're looking for really good vegan food along the route. So yeah, we're gonna cool places to stay, just like yeah, yeah, places to explore. So our first stop after today, hopefully, will be New Forest. Then we're gonna head up from the New Forest towards Bristol, Gloucester, and then across into Wales, where we're gonna meet with some friends. I've that... never been to Wales before. I'm so excited. We're then gonna head up to the Lake District, which I've heard so many amazing things about. I've been, but not probably for ten years. So I'm excited to go again. And then we're going to be heading up to Glasgow, across to Edinburgh, and then up into the Highlands. And we might do the NC500. Apparently it's a beautiful drive. Is it along the coast? It's the coastal, it's the coastal road on the northern kind of peninsula or whatever. It's the northern tip of Scotland. It's like My a one road. worry is we only have a certain amount of time and I don't want to try to force too much in. And because obviously a lot of our family and friends lives in the UK, we'll be back. So I think if it works out, great, but I don't want to rush a trip like that so mm. I almost want to like save a whole month maybe next summer to just do that and like go all around Scotland and explore yeah typically the way we've always traveled is a bit more spontaneous and we'll be like oh let's stay here another night oh let's quickly oh look at this new thing we can go do and we're tr we've tried to block out like certain days to be in different places mm -hmm. and uh, we're doing a brand partnership kind of like when is it like uh, like the 22nd or something in the highlands in scotland so we need to get there for then mm -hmm. but we there'll be a bit of wiggle room mm -hmm. but we're trying for the first time to really actually plan out where we're going to be mm -hmm. just to make the most of it and then because the uk is actually pretty small compared to other countries like America. Yeah, we're used to driving around the, United the US States. <laughs> where everything is like a 12 hour drive. So once we're in Scotland, I could potentially, and I've done this before, just drive all the way back down to London in like 10 hours. If, it's crazy. If we wanted to basically stay in Scotland right to the end of the month mm -hmm. and then come back down. So besides planning these stops, we honestly don't really know what to do in any of these places. Obviously, we're going to try to look into it and like ask advice from some friends. But if any of you live in any of these places or have been there, please leave recommendations down below. I feel like we're going to be planning our whole itinerary by what you guys recommend. So mm. we would so, so appreciate that. I've been on uh, TikTok, YouTube, like looking at all the like other vloggers that kind of travel around the UK trying to find cool spots. So we'll try and plan a pretty good month mm -hmm. and it's so good to be back in the van. Mm -hmm. It honestly, just as we were driving, we were both like, couldn't stop smiling. It feels amazing to be back in here. We had such beautiful memories of it from last mm. summer and oh, there's just something magical about being in a smaller vehicle. I feel like the we can really get anywhere we want and so much of the UK is like beautiful little villages with tiny streets and the fact that we can go like all that is accessible to us in here feels really really good. And my parents have been raving about being in this van and going away for the weekend. Yeah. They actually joined this like art, like campers, this camping caravan club and I signed us up as well so we're now all members. We got even a little membership card. I don't know where mine is right now but <laughs> Uh, it gives us access and 
cheaper rates at some of these like RV parks and camping places, mm -hmm. which we didn't do last summer. We basically just kind of wild camped. I don't know why we were, I think, do you know what? I think in the school bus we tried staying in an RV park and it just wasn't great. Like mm. everyone was super close together. There wasn't much to do. You were just like right next door to all these RVs. So then in Europe we were like, oh, let's just not even think about that and like try to find places to park, which was good. However, we obviously don't have a bathroom or shower. So I think along the way, if we can mm. find some beautiful spots that have a bathroom and shower, that would be great. So we'll try and stay at some really beautiful RV parks and mm. camping spots and I am just so, so excited for this next month of traveling and making vlogs around the UK and just yeah. getting to show you watching from home if you haven't visited the UK, how beautiful it really is. And it's something I've been reminded of the last month or so of being here mm -hmm. with this unbelievable summer we're having. Yeah. It's I don't know. We've unbeatable. we've only seen like one day of rain. I swear, Louis, you've always said like, oh, British summer is like ten days of sun, but it has been nonstop perfect weather, and I'm just so grateful that this is the summer that we've chosen to explore. Also, I think a lot of you know I went to uni in London, so I lived here for three years, but. I think it's so easy to like overlook your backyard and mm. anytime I had money or time to go away somewhere I would go to Paris or Italy or something and obviously that was great but there's so much beauty and history and culture around the UK so I'm excited to finally like give it the time it deserves. Mm. So there's a bit of a plan for the month like we said please give us some feedback in the comments of things we should do. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're gonna try and camp on the beach in Brighton. I don't know if you watched the last video, but we spotted on our cycle ride a whole road of camper vans that's right on the beach near the marina. So we're gonna drive over there now. Unfortunately, today is Pride in Brighton, which means it's super busy. It's not unfortunate that it's Pride. <laughs> it's unfortunate that it's busy because I- It's we, a Saturday, it's August, it's beautiful out, it's Pride. It's but, probably the busiest day all year. <laughs> it'll basically be uh, very lucky if we find a spot, but we're gonna go and try. Yeah. And then park up and watch the sunset and hopefully have a lovely evening mm -hmm. sitting on the beach, just taking mm -hmm. in Brighton. Mm -hmm. Right, should we go? Yeah. Yep, definitely officially the busiest day, maybe all year for Brighton, but also a beautiful day. And we were saying if we are able to park down here, it would be great to go back and like dance for a bit in the main pride area. It's kind of lucky that we came here on today. It's like a really, really fun day and everyone's just happy and obviously wearing like fun, colorful clothes. It's great. This spot, if we're allowed here, yeah, look, we can just pop there. Yeah, wow, I can't believe there's actually spots. This is cool. I feel like some people might just live here. They do, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> this oh wait, we could park right there. Let's do that, let's do that. Oh, we've just found a perfect spot. Wow, and we can just cross over there, over the railway, and walk down to the beach. I mean, did we just find the best place? How have we never been here before? I know. Oh my gosh, literally, wow. Perfect view. So, we have parked on the, the little railway that we took last vlog. Look, the railway's right here. The beach is right there, and then there's a little footpath right there out to the beach. So this is lovely. And there's a lot of other people doing van life here as well. Definitely. This is this seems to be the spot, and I can definitely see why. Right, what do you think of tonight's spot? I mean, are you kidding? Wait, let me turn this around. This is the view. I don't know how legal this is. I saw a few parking tickets on some of the other vans, but I feel like it's one of those, like, you know, they can't evict people. It's one of those probably like, people are kind of squatting here. That's what I think. But there's also that sign for parking. Yeah, the other side, it said like parking after six is free. So we'll see. But I'm I'm confident, like, I mean, there's so many people. I think people have been living down here for months, if not years. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a proper little, basically caravan park on the 
on the beach. Mm -hmm. But I love it. Do you want to fill up the kettle and then we can take our cups of tea down to the beach? Ooh. Okay, we just made some friends. This is Katan and Marissa. They've been down here for on and off for a couple months and check out their what was this bus originally? London Dynamite. Nice. Can I just yeah. kind of go in? Yeah, I'm, so I'm just having a little nosy around. Oh, I love it. Check this out. Bed at the back. Oh, this is this is the vibe. I like this a lot. Nice little wet room, shower and toilet. See, this is what we're missing. Yeah, that table will blow your mind. Pull the handle. This one? Yeah. Whoa, whoa. That's like three times the size of our table. Did you do all this yourself? I love it, I love it, man. Well done, good job. It's so cool to see other people living the dream, van life in it. It's freedom, freedom from rent, freedom from a mortgage, and you can adventure around on your wheels. Thanks so much, it's awesome, man. Bless you, brother, bless you. <laughs> okay, the sun is dipping. Let's go down with our tea. I love it. I love that we can just make tea on the beach. I know. Hey, cheers. Cheers. So we're gonna walk down to the beach. Just got the inside scoop from Katan and Marissa who have been down here for a little bit. Basically, the reason all these camper vans are down here is because there's a loophole where, see how like the road, these double yellow lines are broken by like tarmac and stuff. It's like they're not, they haven't been redone which means legally they can't get ticketed. And although we did see some tickets on the cards, apparently those were just notices saying that this Wednesday, which is only in a few days time, they're gonna be repainting the markings on the road, which means these vans are all gonna be moved on. So although they've been down here for months and months and months, this is the last week. So it's actually incredible that we made it. I know, that was crazy luck. Although, if you do want to still come down, I guess you could still park across the road because mm. after 6 p.m. it's free, so yeah, it's still an option. I feel like it's pretty relaxed in Brighton. This is one of the areas where I feel like, although, you know... Well, I don't want to say that and then someone comes and gets like a ticket because of us, so... <laughs> but, anyway. but I think you can still park across the street if you come down. And it's definitely still worth it, I think. Mm. And then he also said this little area of the beach to the left is a nudist beach, so... Uh, oh, okay. We won't be pointing the camera that way. <laughs> okay. But he said if we do want to do some skinny dipping, run into the sea, we could. I'm glad he warned us because I feel like it would have been a shock if he didn't <laughs> know about that. <laughs> also, the other amazing thing about being in the UK, especially in the summer, is super late sunsets. Mm. And the sun sets for so long. It's basically golden hour and like beautiful colors in the sky for maybe over an hour. Yeah. Which, unlike the closer you are to the equator, the faster the sun sets. So we've been used to very, very fast Costa Rican sunsets. Yeah. So we've been just loving, like basking in this golden light every single day. Look, look at this, this is just glorious. Oh yes, immediately, nudity. <laughs> oh, lots of nudity. <laughs> men, <laughs> lots of new men. This is the perfect start to our trip. Yeah. I think this is a sign that this is how smoothly the rest of the trip is gonna go. We're just gonna find perfect spots, meet nice people. I love it. I'm so excited. He said, he's like, I do energy work and I go on energy and I was immediately attracted to your energy and I was like, nice. So these beachfront townhouse apartments are super, super expensive. But if you want to live in your van, 
right underneath. Same view. It's free. Same view for free. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're heading back to the van. It's getting a little nippy in the evenings, so we're gonna put on some warmer clothes. We've just checked and there is an Asda, a 10 minute walk from here, so we're gonna go down and stock up for our trip. It's only 10 minutes down to Asda and we're gonna show you how amazing supermarkets are in the UK for vegan food. They're <laughs> unreal. You are not ready for this. Also, look at this stunning sunset. I think it's like an hour, over an hour since we were sitting on the beach and it's still like that. That's what I'm telling you, the long sunset. Wild. We're not gonna take these because we don't have an oven on the van, but these are incredible. They are vegan chicken Kievs. Literally indistinguishable from the chicken Kievs I grew up on. I'm freaking out. Okay, look at this section. Peanut butter or almond cups. Snickers. These are Ferrero Rocher's vegan. Macaroon. What? All of this is vegan. Lint hazelnut. <laughs> Get it. That one. That one. That one. <laughs> so many Cheese options. And onion. <laughs> this one. Did you get macaroons? This is like the sixth section of plant-based and vegan food. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Look, galaxy chocolate, vegan galaxy chocolate. Salted caramel, Cadbury's chocolate. Oh my gosh, I'm a chocolate addict. Okay, we are fully stocked up. We've loaded up our bags and basically on our walk home, we've decided to see if the bowling alley is open. Um, just because Raya's got a craving for bowling. Also, this is one of the best things about parking where we are. Is we're near the marina, so it has all the restaurants and movie theater and bowling and all the fun stuff. Obviously, grocery store, so yeah, perfect. All yeah, it's so good. Ooh, I don't know if it's going to be open. Oh. Oh, it looks good. Looks promising. to warm up but then I got into it. What? <laughs> right we're back from bowling. Raya absolutely smashed me. It's so good. <laughs> I haven't played in years but I was on the bowling team in middle school so <laughs> <laughs> I still remember some of the moves but I honestly can't believe I did that well. Yeah <laughs> was that was fun. yeah that was the perfect end to the first day of our road trip. And I'm finding this amazing spot in Brighton. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to wake up tomorrow morning to the beach, the ocean, the waves, the seagulls. It's gonna be amazing. And we have got a treat for you next week. In next week's vlog, we're doing a surprise announcement. But you're gonna to have to wait for that. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because this month we have such an amazing road trip planned and we cannot wait to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you have your notifications on so you don't miss any of our videos and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Thank you.